Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Today we're going to talk about losartan and bananas. Do Can you eat high potassium foods? Do you have to avoid certain foods when you're taking the blood pressure medication losartan? Does that have any effect on the medicine? First off, as with all my videos, this is for informational purposes only and is not intended to serve as a substitute for the consultation, diagnosis, and or medical treatment of a qualified healthcare provider. So quickly, what is losartan? <clears throat> losartan, of course, is blood pressure medicine. It's used to lower blood pressure. Um, it's in a group of medicines known as ARBs, or angiotensin receptor blockers, and it does have a potential side effect of hyperkalemia or increased potassium. So that is why we often get this question, can I eat foods with potassium when I am taking losartan? And I found this study. It answers the question right there in the title. Adequate intake of potassium does not cause hyperkalemia in hypertensive individuals taking medications that antagonize renin angiotensin aldosterone system. So let's just, we'll dig into that just a little bit more and look at some of the details here. So the background, again, we kind of touched on this, was um, the medicines can reduce the potassium excreted from the body. This um, study came from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, October 2016, um, by Arcand, Flores, and Newton, and Allard. Um, so these medicines, uh, we know that they can increase uh, potassium in the body, and they are known to increase the risk of hyperkalemia. So the stu purpose of the study was then to assess the effect of dietary potassium, so bananas, potatoes, you know, all those foods that are higher in potassium, do those increase that risk of having high potassium when you're taking an ARB? This would also include like ACE inhibitors as well. Their theory was it would not. Their theory panned out. They did a trial. So it's a small trial. It's just in 20 people with high blood pressure. You know, important thing here, they had normal kidney function. Um, so it's important to keep that in mind. They either got a usual diet or they gave them a high potassium diet, they, which they abbreviated HKD. Fruits and vegetable intake was increased to increase the potassium. And then they measured the potassium levels, of course, in those folks. So the results, the usual diet, there was no, stati uh, no statistical, st statistically significant difference from potassium excretion intake or serum levels. Um, despite the increased potassium intake in the high potassium group, potassium concentrations did not significantly increase from baseline. So the conclusion was that increase in dietary potassium over four week period is safe in high, individuals with high blood pressure who have normal kidney function and who are receiving a medication like Losartan and ARB. So uh, one of the important things to consider is high potassium can be dangerous. It can lead to cardiac arrhythmias and extreme cases, even cardiac death. And knowing that these medications can increase potassium, it is important that one be mindful about that and see their doctor and get regular labs. But dietary potassium doesn't seem to increase that risk. It is estimated that up to 10% of people treated with medicines that affect potassium can develop hyperkalemia over time. And obviously that would be noted in a lab usually before it got to the point where it's really dangerous. So go bananas. It seems like it, for most people who are otherwise healthy other than the high blood pressure, it uh, seems okay to have those in a moderate amount in your diet. Of course, you want regular labs and checkups with your doctor. It does seem like caution or avoiding high potassium foods would be a good idea for those with poor kidney function. If you have heart failure, diabetics uh, can have reduced kidney function and diabetics most of the time can control their blood sugar a little bit better if they avoid a lot of fruit anyway, like bananas, you know, vegetables have less of an effect on their uh, blood sugar and probably a better option, still have potassium in it. But uh, if you're uncertain, of course, you'd want to talk to your healthcare provider. And if you've had a history of problems with hyperkalemia or high potassium in the past, um, you certainly would want to talk to your healthcare provider. You may need to eat a diet that's a little bit lower in potassium. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like uh, this video, go ahead and like it. I'd appreciate that. And if you like uh, my videos in general, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.